Welcome to the Numeric Workshop. This segment of the WBPL 76 is brought to you by the Night Owl Association, along with the Bear Diggs Company and viewers like you. Why are you here? Hello again, chat. Have some corn. You just open it up and you rub it all over your tongue. Ooh, woo. Why are you here? Sphincter Ottoman? I just hit myself in the balls with an iPhone. Somebody quote that. What could possibly go wrong? Free Corn Thursday. Like, so, wow, what? your organs are all fuck shaped. What if we just stab it a little bit? Fuck. That unholy abomination of Yuletide terror. <laughs> Yo, my name is Exhibit, and today we're gonna go ahead and pimp my map. Stop fucking the magnets. I'm not fucking the magnets. You're fucking the magnets. What the fuck is free corn Thursday? <laughs> All right, so basically what we've done, and I need you to understand the physics of it, is we right, took so a rock and then we flattened it out a lot. So it's a very flat rock, like with science and shit. Then we put it in an oven and then we baked quality into it. And then when the quality was there, bam, we hit it with lightning like Zeus on a bender. And now the Zeus rock is stuck inside your machine where it does thousands of things every moment, every intestine, tiny slot of time. It is thinking, but not very well. It is just one tiny gremlin with several calculators, and they are all crap. But if you do them fast enough, then much like Shakespeare, you too will be 10,000 monkeys per second. And that is the story of how we arrived at the reduced instruction set. Now, for the complex instruction set, I want you to visualize that very same rock, but instead of one Zeus, it is a Zeusian orgy. Not to be confused with, like, something Dr. Seuss drew, unless he had, like, a side career that I don't know about, but if he did go into ancient, like, Greek turbo history, maybe. But, look, the point is, at the end of the day, the purpose of these rocks is to, um, I, I guess, very much in keeping with the history of Zeus, provide unlimited pornography at the push of a button. So that's where we are today. <laughs> anyway, hello and welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and Hello. gentlemen, that is a brief history of the Risk Five processor system. And, and, and remember, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that you too can have unlimited pornography at the click of a button when you save big money with your nards. And what's really weird is that he started off trying to talk about hot dogs. <laughs> Look, hot dogs can be any meat you want it to be. It's all about the form factor and the marketing. <coughs> I'm deeply new concerned. electrified hot dogs. Oh, why so don't I'm they make ask, mushroom hot dogs? So, so I'm going to ask because I I haven't seen this one before. What the hell is the O2 warning? Um, I think it's for a game that we don't play. Hard space. Oh, remember to breathe. Hard space. Hard space. Ship. Remember, fixes. everybody breathe. Wait. <gasps> 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 what? 
the plagiarism machine has discovered new languages and replaced a man's we leg with a sword. There you go. Anyway, welcome to the numeric workshop where um tonight I, is a thing. I I most nights I don't know what's going on. Tonight don't uh, so. So 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 tonight he asked us um who we thought should be on and I responded more quickly than everyone else. So therefore, I got my way. Um my brain was jelly after work, so I just said, "Fuck it, let's find out what happened." <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, you, thank you for before work. Thank you for joining us at the Numeric Workshop, where the stream for the first time is not borked, but hey, the sh hey. the hosts definitely are. Yes. Shut up. You don't have to be so mean to me. Anyway, people sent us stuff. Why? Uh, because I asked them. To. Oh, really, okay. Well, that's really very nice kind of them. Like Arachnash yeah. sent us this. What is mm. this? Well, this would be oh. a destroyer. Mmm, yes, a yes. destroy. It is like a Veritech, except it costs one-tenth the amount and has four times the guns, but only one sixty-fourth the plot significance. That's true. That's ah. very true. And that's actually rounding up, yeah. That's very, yeah, very accurate. It's very nice, though. Oh, also, yeah. I like yeah, it a lot more than I like the Veritech fighters, but here we are. Yeah, they're like tanks in Battletech, in that they make a lot more sense. Uh, pound for pound, they are a thousand times better. And nobody fucking cares because they're not what you came there for. That's true. Which makes me very sad because the Mac 2 and the Mac 3 are downright terrifying. You see, yeah, and instead they choose to focus on singing in the middle of the battlefield for reasons. I mean, that's, artistic reasons. That's what happens when Harmony Gold slaps two different properties together and calls it a new show. That's Yeah, that's they slapped fair. a little hard. Uh, yeah. Wait. Was there you like can a, fit a third... so many animes in this baby? <laughs> they, they, and they did. It is an iconic design, and just on its own, it looks good. What if and you can build it what, in Armored Core? What if robot, but instead of arms, many guns? I mean, you can straight up build that thing in Armored Core and Armored Core Two. Yes, yes, you can. And it's very expensive to run because my god, those machine gun arms suck money. It's true. Um, what if, what if, robot, but you slap some gears on it and call it steampunk? No. Uh, then you would have Michael Bay's Transformers. God damn it! No, you're true. You're right there. Fuck. So, now so I will drink this milk you, in celebratory victory. You're you're not seeing the machine guns that are under the big warm, the big warm, big giant shoulder pad things there. Yes, instead we are focused upon the atomic missile nipples and also spotlights, so it can, um, look, new powers as the artist demands. Yes. Hey, but no, that's, Maze Hughes that's sent a, us some, some Legos. No, shut up, I'm still talking good about the last one, because it was genuinely a good model and a great paint job, excellent work. Yes, okay, now but we can talk look Legos. at Baron <laughs> Harkonnen on his giant, giant, giant skirt. Oh, I thought that was president business. Porque no I am president business. I'm looking at an ornithopter, but you are looking at a house Atreides ornithopter. But how it pick up carryall? Uh, it's an ornithopter, it, not a carryall. That's the neat part. It don't. <laughs> right. Yes, I remember my units. This is the other airplane. Yeah, the carryall is the one that picks up the uh, the harvesters. Yeah, the Chungo boys. Yeah, the Chungo boys. The carryall, which is just perfectly named, picks up Chungo Boy, while Flappy Boy keeps an eye out. They should definitely let me rename all of the things in Dune. They should. I would. It, what are the uh, Fremen? Yes. Uh, I mean, Captain Sword Guy and the Stabby Lads. <laughs> what What are the Fremen? I name this one George, this one Arthur, this one Connor. Okay, uh, and <laughs> there's there's spiced or, uh, spiced Aborigines. And uh, what would you uh, what would you then call the Patashai the angry Emperor? tube? Oh, what was Emperor? that I'd... to his yeah. face? A yeah. jerk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anyway, this is space. Now, so. Yeah, space president Dick Man. Well, what I, what I would uh, what I would tell the emperor is, uh, do you remember that one movie that you were in where you made people play ping pong? I was, that's exactly the one that I was going to bring up. And God, what was for that your movie amusement. called? 
It's called Balls of Fury. That's so, what you're saying it, is that well, it was their weapon wait, wait, of choice. Hold up. My brain well, has you... refused to remember this guy's name. All it's giving me is, like, Dark Nicolas Cage. <laughs> his Christopher his Walken? name, his Thank name you. is Christopher Walken. Also, <laughs> I have Balls of Fury on DVD. I have watched it once. It is in my bedroom right now. Well, you know what you're doing after the show. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Maze also sent us this flower. That is not a flower <laughs> because it is a Lego. Yes, Woo! somebody at my office has that, and it looks amazing. Yes, I have almost. Plus, you don't have to water from, it. I've I've almost gotten this for my wife a number of times. And oh my fact, god! He has Bar barrel aged Nick Cage. The bees? No. Wait. No, I, I believe I believe it isn't barrel aged. It, it's more like ass aged. When did they put squirrels in Minshraft? What? Like that's clearly a squirrel. I'm... When did? They, or is that supposed to be a cat? Sorry, oh, I, I wasn't listening ocelot. because my eyes were reading. When did they put squirrels in a giraffe? Yeah. What? He, he said Minstaff. I said Minshraft. What? It's an ocelot. Just ocelot. Not revolver ocelot. That's a different ocelot. Well, that's just a cat that spins. <laughs> You're not wrong. A cat on spin cycle. That's just a regular cat. <laughs> Behold, the, your portal to the nether. Do not penis mean? the nether portal. Squick, rename the nether for me real quick. Um, I mean, it's Bedsplosion Land. It's always he's saving time wrong. in nether rack. He's, he's not wrong. It is in It's always sunny in nether Philadelphia? <laughs> nether Delphia. And then, uh, finally, UNC Samurai sent us <laughs> something to uh, commemorate Ooh. the uh, the Lunar New Year and the Year of the Dark On. Yay! And it is, Wait. of course, these pirates off on in the back and on the side of the photo. Are they the pirates of Penzance? No, they're the they have Do a what you want, because a pirate boat. is free. Yar, you are. are a pirate! Wait a second. The, the big dragon here. Why is it yes. riding on, like, Rush's hover platform from Mega Man 2? You gotta go fast. I didn't say I Sonic. I just hit myself in the balls with an iPhone. Squish Still a valid answer. Balls with an iPhone. But, yeah, but it appears to have flames coming out of it, so I've declared this to be uh, the Rush floating platform from, uh, from Mega Man 2. Understandable. Yeah, I mean... Also, thank you so much, Brenna Wolf. Also, to those of you who raided earlier when we were in the middle of um, shenanigans, thank you and welcome. We appreciate you. Shit post. That's, yes, we do that here. We're pretty good at it, honestly. So It's like 80% of the show. So, 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 uh, so. stuff we've been up to lately. Okay, so this, this is a series of... <clears throat> Strikers. We we showed some of this off last week. I worked on one of these last week on the stream. It was uh, center right. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead. Uh, these are updates of the Striker mech for which there is not an updated non very early TRO model uh, that oh. I made for. It's just Eeyore of the Black Pants Legion, and that I looks like an impressive bowling league, doesn't it? This They're is this is the the cockatoo crew. Okay, if you didn't say it, I was going to because my god, that yellow top! It is exactly what he asked for. Crookatoo. He actually gave me reference pictures of exactly the cockatoos he wanted these to look like. <laughs> Watcher, uh, Watchers got it. Watchers got us. Go, go, striker rangers. Here is my reference bird. Actually, he gave me a wide variety of reference cockatoos and said, I want these ones. And then I want them on these models. So by God, I did it. And those have arrived at his abode at Location Redacted. So now he has Cockatoo Crew. Yep. I'll be, yeah, that, that... I'll be putting those onto my cult page at some point tonight or tomorrow. 
Because obviously everybody needs Cockatoo Crew. Now needs Cockatoo Crew? Yes. Yeah. Um, next thing. Next thing. This is the other thing that I worked on over the weekend. And because I'm apparently moderately crazy, I decided two days is enough. So I made one variant in four po five poses, actually, in two days. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. Like, the cockpit could be a little bigger. And I'm going to make more variants, so I'll make a bigger cockpit for the future. But uh, I made I made my favorite mech, and now I'm happy. Parallax? They look really good, but the one on the left is, like, shouting, are you not into trains? Yeah. <laughs> and I really like it. I want, I want one. Are you not into trains? Grumble, 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 grumble. This one already is available I, I on the Colts page, if anyone's interested. Uh, what have I got next? I've got... Oh, this is the side of a CGL Battlemaster. Uh, I'm not actually interested in you looking at the Battlemaster. I'm more interested in... Do you see that logo on there? No, because no. it's just a very, very it's tiny, tiny picture. Enhanced uh, bigness. Uh, it's, it's a very nice postage stamp. There. It's big now. Oh, Diggs has called for a grumble. Grumble. Grumble about things. Grumble. Wait, wait, wait. I have... If I press enough buttons... So I made bird. Grumble. grumble. Thank you. You are welcome. That was a rumble grumble. The question is, did he know which button it was, or did he just hope? Uh, that's still number one. Number oh, one is the fucky go. voice, and I've forgotten what the rest of them do. So I worked for a while to figure out a way to come up with a simple logo that I could actually paint onto something like this and uh, get some volumetric lighting out of it, and that's where I ended up. I'm pretty happy with it. It looks good. Thank you. And Except then, that it's a bird. It is a bird. These are cow mechs. Shouldn't be a bear. But these are cow men. Yes! But Except that they don't belong in... Mm -hmm. Oh, tell us about the dog. Uh, I seen one a while ago. Nice. So That's here's good. the thing. I'm not just showing you cow men because, you know, cow men. Uh, these are actually FDM printed. Nice. Okay, but what about the dog? I seen one a while ago. Nice. I was just very happy with how those turned out. Uh, if you had, and like, I I used the uh, the default zero point four millimeter nozzle on my uh, P one S for it, and like it turned out nicely. I'm very happy with it. Uh, That's good. Duncan Shadow on my mini factory. If anyone's interested, he has a line of FDM compatible models that are supportless. There. Hey. I got to be right. honest, I have no beef with how those turned out. Good. No, those turned out quite well. I just... They are uh, all the, excellent, those... but everyone boo ducks. No. <laughs> no, I, I was just looking at them. I looked up and I'm like, oh my god, it's Beastmen! Yes! Actually, I have some Beastmen sitting on my resin printer right now. Um, We'll get those later. I, I mean, like, not during the show. But. Do, do do I need to do I need to show you the book that is currently sitting next to me at my modeling desk? I'm going to assume that the book that is sitting next to you is, in fact, uh, "Man, the State and War" by Kenneth Waltz, a treatise on the reasons that wars occur in the field of international relations. You're not far off, but download more um, relations. I mean, it has about as many pages. Uh... Actually, this one doesn't have that many pages. It's a fairly small book. Mm. It is, however, math. Math? Which doesn't seem right for a social science, but here we are. I mean, everything's math when you boil it down to something. Yeah, but I didn't go to grad school for math, damn it. Anyway. What about reverse math? Uh, hey. Hmm. Para? Para? Hi. Uh, j just to prove that it is, in fact, where I say it is. I uh, no there, there, there is a photo. There is a photo of photoception of your stream above the book. It's true. But also, Photoshop. I'm now looking at these uh, waffle houses so, so, being attacked by dragons <laughs> that switch supply this way. What the? 
I'm still <laughs> waiting to find out what you got that you accused me of. Oh, okay. Well, as it turns out, I have this box. I, Wait, I, hold on. T tell them what the book is. The book is Warhammer, the word oral. Uh, it's the old world book. It's the old world book, everybody. Yep. It's the old world, the book of the world that was. Do Do I have to open the note card now and say that war and type in that Warhammer has books because I didn't what? <laughs> uh, Warhammer has many books and they are expensive. What? It doesn't have books. It has published cash grabs. Okay. I mean, so I can type. It. I have received a box. This is not an a invitation box. for people to send me shit. Disagree. I need people. To understand, this is not an invitation to send me shit. If we add enough punctuation to that sentence, I agree. <laughs> I do not have enough. But, okay, Mo, send us this box. Hey, uh, I don't hey, know para, what's in this para, box. Para, what? Para. Hi. What's in the box? Yeah. No, don't send me shit. Yeah, Don't send him send items shit. instead. Your human excrement is of no interest to the stream. Do, nobody give Maze my address. Do not make that happen. I do not have room in my house for more stuff. I have children. What if it is they a box of corn? They have consumed all of my oh, all of my space. And lovely wife has requested that people do not send us stuff in chat. That happened. Okay, so 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 Mo sent me a box. I don't know what's in it. The box says I open on stream, please. And because he said please, I'm uh we're gonna see what's in it. I did we're cut obliged. the tape on this already. I don't know what's in it. I haven't opened it. The penmanship is great. Isn't it? Okay, so let's see. Uh oh there <laughs> we go. We've, uh, we we've got ourselves uh a slobby's uh a slobby's wow. receipt. <laughs> that's that's classy, isn't it? That's yeah, awesome. wow. Santar was our cashier. Uh, we, we got a Slobby Seconds. Oh my god. I hate it so much. We got a slider <laughs> special. Why do with, they have four registers? With horse <laughs> sauce. The fuck is menthol crash? <laughs> and full How? throttle pick. I'm sorry, full throttle pickles. That's just more concerning. <laughs> so, uh, it's a good value. Four sixty nine. Nice. Uh, we had a text uh, a tax from the Department of Health and Comstar. So uh, our total due was six dollars and ninety cents. Nice. 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 Uh, thank you for dining. Thank you for your dining purchase. Why are you here? From Santar, with love. Well. That was, is fucking why are you great. Here? Great. I was not expecting the receipt. I don't know what that. Uh, uh, this please, was. This one please says. Tell me that was the only thing in the box. Uh, no, it's not the only. I got another copy of it. And this one says "shake for flavor." Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it says "shake for flavor," but it says "shake for flavor." Um. Okay, shake it. See what it does. Uh, maybe don't. <laughs> Just... <laughs> no, shake I, it. See I, what it does. I am absurdly terrified that this it is, is just telling a box you. Full of I'm dick sure fetty. it's. I'm sure it's fine. That oh, is a separate service that does not include a slobby's receipt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what's in the box yet, but his packaging. <laughs> yeah. That's top tier. Oh, that's excellent. And then slobbies. This, this is slobbies. We have meat. One hundred percent meat, which it obviously always was. <laughs> it's good to see my slogan in use. Oh, oh no! Why? No, no! Downvote. It's, it's a apocalypse gym for maximum. Try our horse Duncan. Maximum what? I don't know, but try our horse Duncan sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's horse amazing. Duncan sauce. You gotta have the horse Duncan sauce. Uh, this is magical. <laughs> Guys, you get to send Squick stuff next time. This is great. Oh, God. Am I gonna need to get a P.O. box? Y'all, I'm afraid I need to now. <laughs> My wife is gonna kill me if I get more stuff. And she's hey, in well, that's why you just hang hey. up Apocalypse Jim. He wards off death. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, Para. Apocalypse Jim. What? Hey, Para. You, you want to know what's great about this? 
no one even no one even really registers me uh, as being part of this until uh, I'm actually here. So what? I'm not gonna get shit. Why is there a flesh burger? <laughs> <laughs> because Squick, it's one hundred percent meat, which it always yeah, always always. I, was. Wait a minute, I our new I... drive-through <laughs> fits tractors, <laughs> slobbies. It's almost <laughs> edible, slobbies. Uh, it's not people guaranteed. Asterisk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pick that back up again. Just a minute, slobbies. I surmise slobbies. <laughs> <laughs> and here's here is flesh burger uh lovely uh, wife i now have a uh a, a, a you have a, a resin you have hamburger. a crabby patty P parallax i have a crabby patty parallax hi shake it for flavor <sighs> shake it what does it, it do it does nothing then you're not shaking it hard enough. Ah! Shake, 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 shake. The, the goggles, they do nothing. I have a question. I have an answer. Let's see if they match. Paint it. <laughs> but it's so much worse this way. Is it, though? <laughs> then just putting meat what texture is... on everything. I have a tiny drug-sized baggie that says relish. That makes sense. Yeah, that checks. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Is that hard pickle or whatever it said? Um, well, it, it's Slobby's custom dehydrated relish. It's very normal. Like you do. Traditional. <laughs> dehydrated relish is just organic Lego. It's traditional. No more questions. It's traditional, folks. Tradition um, where? I said no more questions. The crematorium? So uh, we, we have another uh, Slobby's ad sheet here. Um, Uh-oh. It's the same oh, sheet. It's, it's at least got the same ads on it. It's just in a different format. So I guess I have to make some billboards to put these on. You know, with, with all of this, Guys, I'm we just have, asking... we have a second. Um, I'm afraid. I think it's another <laughs> Krabby Patty. I think it's another Krabby Patty, but I'm... Ducks, I have observed the item. Mm -hmm. That is very... Glowfully mm -hmm. presented, and certainly not uranium at all. I'm concerned. I what? I, 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 I don't just worry want... about it. Just you check it later. Just unwrap now. Don't don't yes. don't poke your finger. You I, can I check just... what I've shared in time. I, I just wish a second Krabby Patty, which I guess means that that's the the slobby seconds. Oh, right. shake it, shake it. You have been told to shake this I'm one as well. Shaking it next to the microphone. It like, does not appear to be full of uncured resin, which is good. Okay, but what does it taste like? No. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Okay, okay, and now he, here is... Do not eat this side. He, who is it that had done all of this? Uh, this was Mo. This was okay, uh, this so, was okay so, Mo. So, so Mo, Mo, the only thing that I am remembering when looking at all of these advertisements that you have so painstakingly created is the big boy place, uh, big boy um, uh, children's placemats that used to come when I was younger. <laughs> With mazes and all these different activities yep, to they, do while you were waiting for your food. They still have those at Denny's. And I'm just imagining what slobbies would be and how terrible it would. Oh, it's 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 almost edible. I like how Santar is a cashier there. Well, he is. If not one of the local proprietors. Well, from well, he's the cashier. It says he's the cashier. Santar works at Slobby's. Yeah, from Santar with love. What we need to go ahead and we need to take uh, some photos of these and just post them to Depp. Uh <laughs> my apology. Okay, Mo says my apologies. This came from a conversation last Thursday, and I made it in under two or three days, and I had to get it on stream. Guys, there were no co-conspirators. Uh, this was sure not a team effort weren't. at all. Sure, there weren't. 
Good God. Check the holder. Give me a minute. I have to, like, make space here now. And, like, my soul is taking damage. <laughs> Roll for soul damage. Oh, no, I failed. Vaccination. 07 says, I'll never tell. Also, that's a fantastic name. Also, also, welcome to the party. You've made a poor decision, and I respect it. You've made a series of them. Now you're here. The exits are locked. Okay, I have two other things here that I am responsible for making myself that are not cursed, maybe. Uh, I left the relish. The not I guess cursed the relish TM. is say here. Um, well, it's not cursed Well, TM. one of them is, is that... So, spaceship. Yes. We have 69 viewers. Nice. nice. Spaceship is adequately sized for burger transport. It, the, it, it is a map scale. It is on a mech scale leopard, which goes along very it's... nicely with my map scale, not mech scale uh, union. Um. So I have a question. Okay. Kindly display burger next to union. Burger is half a union. That'll proxy. Yeah, no, yeah, that works. Will it? Does the union open? It does not. It does not. Well, also, bye. we're not going to look at the bottom of the union where it is a fucking mess. Well, traditionally, if you see the bottom of the dropship, something bad is happening. Yes, yes. Darius is about to land a leopard on one of your mechs and destroy it. I have complaint about your leopard. I mean, what's wrong with my leopard? It's not painted leopard print. Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I hate it. This is great. You need a sign that just says slobbies on the other side. I do. Well, as it turns out... The slobbies emergency dinner dropship. I'm really concerned about that burger falling off. That's okay. It's pretty solid. It is actually pretty solid. Uh, That's but why it, I'm there, concerned. There we go. It was, there we go. Like... It's going to dent your desk on its way to the center of the earth. <laughs> Probably. So now Squid, we have. Stop I'm, going to, I'm going to have to cut a sign out to go with it. It's going to be a whole thing. It's probably Hell going to have yeah. to be like permanent in the opening or something. This yeah, is... I feel like that's tonight project. I know you had a plan, but also I don't care. Do this. <laughs> None of this is primed. It all has to be primed before I can paint it. I disagree. I... That sounds like what an expert would say. <laughs> How about just uh, an enthusiastic amateur? I'm still stuck on Slobby's dropship delivery. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a Bubba J sketch. There's already a Slobby's uh, Bubba J sketch from well over a year ago. Yes. Slob and Slobby is now offering dropship delivery. Bear in mind, none of this is my fault. Uh-huh. 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 Why? How does the car stop chanting flesh burger? <laughs> hey, check the holler. You son of a and bitch. And then silence. <laughs> you son of a bitch. This is your fault, isn't it? Nope, not directly. Uh, Only partially. How much? Uh, if I had to put a percentage on it, I'd say some. <laughs> Uh, if I had to put a percentage on it, eh, I'd say uh, thirty-three point three three. Repeating, of course, uh, no. percent. Uh, I'm going to break in for just a moment for loudmouth Jayhawk. Um, a, that's unfortunate. But B, if you go through the original documentation for that issue, uh, as long as the cable isn't pre-smashed, they do have a printable reinforcement part for it to get you up and running in the meantime. Huzzah! Um, and also, then you can like keep your printer, and they'll send you one hundred and twenty dollars. <coughs> yes, or you can send it back, and they'll give you a new a new printer and eighty plus bucks. eighty. Thank you, thank you, Cookie. One of the most effective recall strategies I have seen. It's I don't know who's bankrolling them, but they're willing to burn money for good press. I mean, it's pretty good press. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's see. With our eyeballs? Gentlemen. And also Squick. Hello! Wait, why is Andre the Giant lifting a car? 
That's probably fine. Because he can. Yeah, that tracks. Faxination has said that I can confirm the flesh burger made slosh sounds before it got mailed. I am uh, very glad it doesn't at this point. I, I can also that's... confirm that it made slosh sounds before it was mailed. That's concerning. I may have to store these in the garage. Because I don't need them to crack open in six months and leak uh, uncured resin onto my shelves. No, it sounds like it's hardened, so... I'll double check later. I will shine a very, very, very bright light through it first. If you drill a hole through the bottom and, and, uh, yes, of one can. of them, you can drain out the inner goop and then put an LED up there and have radioactive glowing flesh burger. So. Yeah, but if you try that at Burger King, everyone gets pissed. Yeah, but you trick us to, you know, wear pants. So what I'm Why? hearing you say is that you have a use for this that I've already got sitting on my desk and is already wired up. And Yes, use it for the burger. Drill out the burger. Make glowing flesh burger. Nothing think, can go wrong. I don't think it's quite bright enough for that. Do you want it one brighter? I know an e-tech. I know a guy. I think the guy already has something from me. Well, when it comes in, well, then things will get taken apart. No, you're, you're talking... I once made an 80,000... Oh, okay, I miscalculated. I accidentally made an 80,000 lumen jack-o'-lantern. So, I mean, I still have the parts. Look, anything can be 80,000 lumen if you buy a flashbang on Amazon. Well, I had a 30-amp, uh, 12-volt power supply, so... So, all, all I have to say is, briefly, thank you, Ducks, but also, fuck you. What for? Um, you, you forced me to rearrange everything, because, you know, now I have room... Uh, for my storage uh, solutions. And now I can't find my box of mechs with my punch buggy in it that I was going to do as a, you know, tertiary project for the evening. There it is. You're welcome. And that's not my fault. You're welcome. Question mark? No, answer mark. Okay, answer mark. There you go, folks. Okay. You're welcome. Answer mark. Ducks has sent me a great many paint shelves that actually work excellently and I am very appreciative for it. but it made me uh, go through and redo a lot of my uh, space through here the curse of organization still yes. not my fault totally your fault I enabled your uh, organization he did, that's what happened organizing me. organization uh, I'm glad I could help, I'm actually really jazzed I've been able to you know, make shelves and things and help friends out Yes. Nice. Kind of fun. Kind of cool. Jesus Christ, that has a lot of plastic behind it. Okay. Just lifting that guy up feels like uh, you're lifting a linebacker. That's a very strange linebacker. Uh, it's called a Kodiak. Does, uh, does, does Kodiak play for one of the teams that will be in sports ball championship this weekend? That is not my team, uh, unfortunately. Maybe. Yeah, I was I was rooting for them. I'm sorry. I know I was too. Well, they are we made football. it the far we made it the farthest we'd ever uh, we've ever been. So I I take that as uh, happy points. Happy points, everybody. Uh, somebody earlier asked where uh, printed building here came from. I think I found them on my mini factory. These were free ones. They were labeled as gothic 6 millimeter building. Um, they're not terribly gothic, but they have arches. So there you go. And there's a ruined one and a not ruined one, and they have it on and off of hexes. So there you go. But here's my plan for the evening. Yes. Yeah, bold of for, you to have a plan. 40 minutes evening. into the show, I'm finally going to put some paint on something. Shut up. I mean, that's still not the longest. You're doing good. So, Put it on the burger. So I am going to be working on the spare printed mech I've got here. This is a hammerhead. Uh, to work on some testing for my custom mercenary group colors. So let's see how this goes. Custom Mercenary Group is... Uh, I'm still trying to decide whether it's Langdon's Fusiliers or Langdon's Long Rifles. I have a wonderful and awful, very normal idea, and I need to do some measurements, break something open, and buy a specific size Forzner bit. I am and, Para, it, 
depends on if you're getting your mercenaries through Patreon or through OnlyFans. But um, I got them from Wish. Oh, oh, <laughs> they came. Yeah, they came from Timu. <laughs> I feel like Snord is mercenaries, but from Timu. Uh, mm, I like they're mercenary shaped. Well, they did come from Wolf's Dragoon, so they like, they they came from quality stock. I think they're factory seconds. They're Amazon warehouse mercenaries. That, no, that is not factory seconds. That is at best third shift manufacturer. Okay, fine, but they're they're Amazon warehouse mercenaries. I'm I'm willing to go that far. <laughs> Um, they survived from 3015 to the clan eBay invasion. web shop mercenaries. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> but they did survive for 45, 35 years in the inner sphere working for anybody. So, like, contiguously? Yes. Why? Because they're just... part of Wolf's Dragoons and they're weird like that. I like Snorts and Regulars, they seem very normal to me. You don't say. Yeah, they do. I just want to point out that no plotting is going on in the background. No, no <laughs> plotting toward what? Exactly. Excellent. Squick, tell me your three most exciting Risk Five experiments that you are paying attention to right now. I tried to lick a computer. It did not lick back. This is normal. If it does, that is cause for concern. However, in some cases, it may be considered acceptable as we move forward into a bold new future with not only cyberology, but cyborgonomy, where you too can have a meat processor of your very own. Someday, thoughts will be free for you to partake of whenever you like. But until then, <laughs> you can continue to enjoy my thoughts for a nominal fee. What's the nominal fee? Uh, I don't know. Probably something in like brain juice goop? refill. Would it be in goop? Brain dineros? So I still run classic Dineros. goob, and I, I appreciate new goob, but it's just not the same. Is new goob noob? I, I hate it. <laughs> I, I hate it so much. You see, but... guys, to break Squick, all you have to do is pay attention to what he says and then say it back to him. Yes, I don't like that. You shouldn't uh, You shouldn't do that. I am a verbal buffer overflow attack, and if you have enough room for it, it angers me. So as it turns <laughs> out, guys, uh, Squick is a DDoS that walks. Is that not the purpose of the meat suit? <laughs> I mean, that depends. Are we at or past the point where our, thought, our thoughts are free and we have cyberology? Oh, no, your thoughts have been heavily monetized. Oh, okay. I mean, not by you, but... Just... Mom's For... friendly thought bot company. Um, uh, in which spelling? Because that can have two very different <laughs> meanings. Yup. Am I... They're... Of course I'm a mimetic hazard. All human meat flesh beings are mimetic hazards. It is the ideas of the civilization that will live on far beyond any of our genetics. <coughs> no, the word you're looking for is cognito hazard. There you go. And the answer is also yes. Is not... For example, you're hearing this in my voice. I mean, you did just say it. Did I, though? <laughs> I... For that to be true, you must have absolute certainty not only of your own terribly fallible human electrochemical-based memory, but also of every component between what you perceive as sound via your ears as some, like, bone hairs waggle about just right, but also throughout your entire computational system, which is attached to a greater array of machines than any of us are equipped to conceptualize. In addition, there's a layer on top of that as we get into software. So for you to hear this in my voice and understand it as my voice, conceptually, you have to accept that I am functionally in the room with you, but only for the purposes of speech. Yep. Or that you have a voice at all. I disagree, Squick. Yes. 
You could also be hearing this in my, oh, shit, my chef Richard Larry. Nixon voice. <laughs> 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 This this, is like this segment of the stream, the, this segment of the stream, has been brought to you by Charleston. Charleston too. Uh, hey, if I may, go. Squick. <clears throat> Due to uh, the Squick technological, had to, Squick had to go rescue his chef boyard. <clears throat> uh, ah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Oh, okay. Uh, Squick, no, my boyard is in front of me. Uh, Squick, thanks to the technological wonders that is the interweb connection, you are able to cause brain damage to people in a wide variety of locations all at once. Yeah, usually in the brain, though. That is where brain damage is usually stored. Usually. Uh, brain damage it's not is stored, stored in, in the art. Save more money in your ball. Hey, I have a question. Understandable. Next caller. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, is anyone paying attention to chat and how is chat tonight? Uh, they all seem fine. This is time. all very normal. Everything is okay. Uh, there's nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. These aren't the hosts you're looking for. Well, I mean, I've, there's four of us here. D Damn it! The cookie quoted me. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't the hosts you're looking for. I mean, so, are hosts uh, a kind of candy? Yes. I was going nice. to ask, is anyone actually paying attention to chat right now? There are four of us. Oh. One of us needs to be paying attention to chat. Look, I have milk and Chef Boyardee. You can't make me do anything. I'm the president. You're the president of what? Don't worry about it. I'm very concerned Didn't. about it. He's the, the president of, president. Uh, he's the president of uh, uh, Disney. Well, I didn't vote for him. Uh, it's in the Disney election. Mm -hmm. In Fortnite. Now, oh. now we see the violence inherent in the system. Now we see the violence inherent in the system. <laughs> Do you help, think Disney help, would I'll lobby for or against <coughs> like corporate ownership of nuclear assets? What? Say that again. Uh, don't worry about it. It's Shadow Wizard Money Gang. So we my, love casting spells. My answer spells. to that question is that. Uh, corporations don't want to own nuclear weapons because nuclear weapons are expensive to upkeep. And then they can also take actions in which um, they locate in places where they can already outsource that to someone that'll pay for it for them. You know, you're right. Nuclear armament as a service. There you go. That's what the government's for. And just like um, that, we're back to discount in. <laughs> I mean... No, that's not what the government's for. They're going to outsource that, too. They're, it's just going to be private sector nukes, as far as I <laughs> can see. Northrop Grumman presents. <laughs> Northrop Grumman presents a day in your terrifying life. Northrop Design Grumman flaws presents with a The boom. Muppet Show. Wait a minute. Do, 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 do. The Muppet Show kaboom. <laughs> Why are we reenacting Snow Crash? Because honestly, as a book, it wasn't great. It had a lot of really good ideas strung together by half a minute's plot development. Like, amazing set pieces. The plot made no fucking sense, and the people were all either awful or cardboard cutouts or both. Squick, what's your favorite cardboard cutout? Oh, um... I mean, I'm partial to the unexpected cardboard cutout, so if you get, like, one of yourself and you leave it in your office, or just at work, where people get the startle response, because they're, ah, human, why? <laughs> Walt Disney presenting, it's a small nuke after all! It's a small nuke after all, it's only tactical. It's a small, small nuke. Zaliku, you have an interesting conundrum, but I would posit that you have not yet established the earlier layers of your supposition. Now, not only can you not know that the me you are hearing is the me that produced the sound, or the intermediary me, but that the very concept itself cannot be proven or disproven, and that can be a bit of an issue. So you're just going to have to either accept this at face level, or who the hell is sending me messages? Why? That's, I'm still... That's illegal. 
I'm choosing to dwell on Squick pausing at the intermediary me. That, that's where I'm... <laughs> All right, how much burger can you replace with meat before people get mad at it? Um, I don't think... I think, I think Google is 300% meat burger. You, I, I, you yeah, could replace burger with donuts and people wouldn't complain. Yeah. I, I think we've already figured uh, that out uh, thanks to McDonald's. It's like 14% uh, uh, meat. You see, that's um, the thing. He, I think he was going the other way. What? Uh, so I I went to, strictly speaking I went to DuckDuckGo not Google okay but I, I go to DuckDuckGo <laughs> in an incognito window for very important reasons and I type in three hundred percent meat burger and the first result is from WhiteHouse.gov <laughs> okay I'm on board <laughs> and please tell us what this is. Anything. Well, I'm, I'm looking down a little bit further, and there's Ultimate Guide to Restaurant Markups. Uh -huh. And, um... Yeah, look, don't worry about it. I'm closing this window now. Hey, guys, it's me. <laughs> I'm the president. I got, so... like, shopping options for you. When you go looking for face meats. Because I'm so the president. Probably... Probably now not available something that at your is local said tutorium. often, but I'm painting along, and I need to go get some clippers and sandpaper for my toaster. Okay, that makes sense. Nothing weird happened. I think that probably only makes sense because it's me. Yeah. Chat, what's your favorite cardboard cutout? Well. Say Larry the Cucumber. Go on AFK. Maybe no, not, no, not Larry the Cucumber. Look at this guy that doesn't like Larry the Cucumber. I don't like anything to deal with Veggie Tales, actually. Sorry. But Larry the Cucumber has a water buffalo. Have you tried salad? It's true. That salad has vegetables is... in it, and you get to stab them. It's also true. Salad is delicious. I like salad. Salad is good. Larry the Cucumber talks too much. That's rather the point. Mm, Why no. do they have boiled hot dog condoms? Nope, we're done with that conversation. What? <laughs> I I clicked on meme spam and that was in my face and why, I regret. Why did you put hot dog condoms in your face? It wasn't me. I'm going over there to shit post picture with this. We a were different both picture. Naked, banging on the bathroom floor. What? Well, it wasn't me. What kind of banging? Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of banging? Yup. Did I forget that I had given her nectar? The shaggy defense, everybody, wasn't it? I'm so confused. That's okay. Doesn't sound like me. That doesn't sound I have returned with medical supplies for my toaster. Good, good, good. What? Doesn't Chat, sound I like me. I don't know if you noticed, but this stream got real weird. What do you mean it got there? It's been there, Kimo. Not my fault. I, mean, I thought it was normal. <laughs> people want to know if Squick just found his kryptonite. Squick's kryptonite is people parroting Squick's nonsense back at him and overflowing his processor. Why do they have a machine gun mount for a Fiat 500? Why wouldn't you? Uh, it's you get small, turbo reverse no, now. It, it's small enough that you can that's fit it. That's not even it. a Fiat 500. That's one of the ones where it has a door on the front. Oh, that's a PLP-1. It is not. I think. I, like, I'm going to put this in the Discord chat, and then you can figure it out with okay. your brain face. Meats. Yeah, that's a PLP-50. That is not a PLP-50. That is. No. It's got three you can't wheels and have everything. a 50 cal in a convertible P50. Why not? Okay, what? now I'm going to... Hey, hey, hey um, Ducks, all I need to say is uh, y you need to keep that up until someone notices. Because the ATF hates fun. That's true. They do. So that's why you can't have a ballistic turbo. Okay, someone other than me notices. Yeah, I hate that sound. What? Please stop. That he's like using a hamster that, drink. That's thing? also the sound that the burgers made. <laughs> what? Thanks. I that is it. the sloshing sound that the burgers made. I'm really glad Parrot, they don't make Parrot, it anymore. Clip that. Put it out of context. Put it in the song. 
<laughs> That's the sound, That's the the sound that the burgers made. made. <laughs> no, but I, I, I was just sitting here and I'm... Uh, uh, he was doing it as you guys would, like, stop talking for a second. You'd just hear, squish, 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 squish. I wasn't trying to interrupt anybody. Of course not. Oh, I noticed. Also, that's noticed. not a PLP 50. See? Now, I'm waiting for Ducks to, uh, to tell me what it is. A machine gun. You're a machine gun. <laughs> is that good? Yeah, it's great. Nice. Unfortunately, you're you're an Ingram Mac Ten. Eh, I'll take it. We can make it belt fed. Yeah, but it's already been. Uh, yeah, that's a nice setup. Carbonized. No, it it has to be belt fed through the handle. Titicus or Manicus sure. said it correctly. It's shit. the small car <laughs> is a nice setup. Uh, interesting trivia. Well, pointless trivia. Don't care. It has no reverse gear. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's one where, like, if you get in too close to a wall, you rip your paint. It's true. You have to put it into neutral and then push the door out with your feet as hard as you can and hope that pushes the car backward. What if you just, like, start the engine backwards? I don't think engines work that way. Some that works with do. DC but not AC or cars. Uh, it works with hit or miss engines. Yes, but a hit or miss engine hasn't been in a car since 1902. How do you think they get transported places? They just fly? What? No, they they get transported places on other on uh, on ships. Truck, train, planes, trains, automobiles. Also, couldn't a rotary engine run backwards if you rotary the other way and you had a, another like the schwangle dangus that does the the psh, psh thing one would think but they're ge they're geared uh so think of it as a high speed air powered oh, yeah but gears can go in two directions well i mean if you break them hard enough they can yes okay so we just make them replaceable like with a transmission i mean i'm not that way a you could run the either. engine in either direction and go forward Jetty well, in chat is uh, is desperately trying to get you to pay attention to the fact that he's trying to teach people about engines. He, you know what, Squick? I mean, that's Squick. That's read read cycle, out loud what Jetty says here. Think about the engine. Suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. Thank you. That is the four-stroke combustion. No sentence. one quote that. <laughs> Grimos is in chat. I'm very seductive. I have said a variety I mean, of dumb things, and I think so far the only quote that I've gotten was when, when Cookie was paying attention. What do you mean doesn't work in reverse? Blow, bang, squeeze, and suck? That's just an orgy in the other direction. Like suck. with a transmission. Suck. 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 Uh, if we weren't demonetized before, we are now. I'm helping. What? What are you helping? Mega made. He's helping himself. Oh, by the way, I uh, just want to point out that even if I'm struggling with it, I'm actually painting along tonight. And this is my yeah. first time those I've been able to must, paint. Those eye mates must be doing okay. They're sort of. Um, It's blurry. But here we are. Do you want to give I Chad an update on your eye mates? Yes. Sure. She, she's Maybe. swapped from suck to blow. I don't know if Chad wants to know about my <laughs> eye mates, but. Oh, my chef Boyardee. And there goes Squick again. <laughs> you tell us about the eye mates, and then it's going to be time for us, right? My, has it really been an hour? What is wrong with us? Uh, that's a list. Probably. My Morons eye mates are stored in the uvula. <laughs> as is the bacteria. Mitochondria? No. Mitochondria are the uvula of the car. Mitochondrians. <laughs> Mitochondrians are stored in the. <laughs> That's why tonsillitis is the ultimate enemy of all Jedi. This is very confusing. Going, <laughs> circling back around, eye meats are now about 65% refilled with goop, which <coughs> nice. is an, a scientific way of saying vitreous fluid because I can't spell vitreous fluid, so I just call it goop. Goop is good And enough. I just have to continue not being an idiot for a little bit longer. I may have to do some acting. When can you pick up a base? 
you know, I'm still waiting for that. It's driving me nuts. Um, I have doctor's orders. Um, somebody duct tape Grimmo's hand, Grimmo's to his chair. I have doctor's orders not to play heavy metal on my ukulele while I heal. What about light metal? I have been playing heavy metal. Like Don't aluminum. Can you play the aluminum? Yes, I can play the aluminum foil. Can you play the uh, What bismuth? about the pumice? I want to know if Which it... I realize isn't a metal. Can but... you play bismuth? That is a lightweight metal that's very brittle, so maybe? It melts at room temperature. Well, anyway, it doesn't no. quite re- melt at room temperature. It melts at, like, the temperature of your hand meats. What about foamed titanium? I uh, just want to point out, Pretzel Bomber says, like, turning back around on this one, and ignoring my doctor's orders to not play heavy metal on a ukulele. Uh... Tonsils are where your mag- is are where your magic is stored. Tonsillitis is just the first symptom of becoming a wizard. Doctors have been keeping them s- a secret from us for years. I believe it. <laughs> I offer wisdom from the internet. I'm all here oh, for oh. it. <clears throat> Tomo, I I have a, u- a ukulele bass um, called Mr. Bass Face. It has a googly eyes, a mustache, a hat, and mini stickers. It is a, a running joke. Um, and obnoxiously, it, it happens gym. to sound pretty good. Does it have Apocalypse Gym on the... Doesn't Let it? me look. I brought you some I... Apocalypse... Wait, no, I didn't bring... I just got a pop. I'm going to have to send you some gems. You I'll... gave me Hell Cargonia. I had the vinyl nano station vinyl and a boneless sticker from Squick. And I have Herb X. And then I have... You know, oh, that reminds me. We're going to do us or ain't, but first. Hey, folks. Yes, for for those that don't know, sticker trading tends to be a very big uh, thing at uh, any uh, BPL meetups, apparently. Yeah, we because... all bring stickers, of course. Everybody yeah. brings stickers. I am reminded, uh, last week, I meant to show this off last week and I forgot, the, uh, the Urban Mech Packs from Eldonius Rex are arriving. So very good. So you can get fun stuff like the Star League Chronicle with the Urban Mech. Or nice. The Lamb Collector. Or you know, that, but as a uh you know, not I want an Irby Lamb sticker. I want many of the well, I want all of the PG-13 Eldonia stickers. Now, here's the thing. This is my favorite. I'm, this is my favorite. I'm going to interrupt for just a moment before you no. show off the favorite. Okay. Uh, also, please lift your, like, bottom half on camera. There. Good. Yes. Is he shooting that Atlas in the dick? Yep. Nice. Also... Yes, Maze Hughes is attempting to become some kind of evil warlock with a summoning ritual. They are attempting to deliberately request apocalypse gems. You send me an address and I will make them happen. No, don't do that, because if you do that, Maze Hughes will have your... No, I'll send it in on. I'll send it from work or something. I have the overwhelming oh. compulsion to play the Doom theme on Mr. Baseface. Now, it also came with a sticker for Irby Chef. And a coaster for Irby Chef. But this is my this is my favorite sticker. It's my second favorite thing in all of it. Uh the the Irby sticker. Don't don't break your doctor's orders. You've been doing so well. You think I've been doing well. Look, just get yourself like a weed whacker and uh put picks on it. Now there's one other thing I got here. Last year, at some point, maybe even the year before, I bought a copy of the Alpha Strike Commander's Edition book, and it fucking vaporized. I'm convinced that my kids have hidden it somewhere and immediately forgotten. I haven't been able to find it in literally a year. It's fucking gone. But when I bought the book, because I bought it from Catalyst, they also gave me the PDF. So I got on to Lulu.com. Cook is going to set up us or ain't. Folks, us or ain't is uh, legally not gambling. So what because you do... Because it does not involve anything of any worth. Uh, goob is worth the value you assign to it. So what you do is... Uh, oh, yes. Excellent. You send me meth weasel patches and I will have meth weasel patches. Um, 
Uh, Again, he was the one threatening to send you stuff if well, you gave him your address. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I might have to set up a P.O. box. We'll see what happens. In any event, um, in two minutes' time after the poll starts, a random quote from our 11 billion quote, uh, Meth Weasel, lovely wife, it's, it's, it's the Ox Clan. Um, it's a very normal gathering. It's of very normal. Uh, a random quote from our 11 billion quotes will be selected. You will wager on whether the quote is attributable to us, that is to say, the normal crew of the Numeric Workshop, or, in order to even out the odds a bit, uh, Pandora Pirate Radio. Since, well, the, the half the crew, uh, the, you know, there's goes a lot back of overlap. Yeah, there yes. is. There's fit. Uh, there no. is a surprising amount of overlap. Um, so. If the uh, outcome is us, if you bid on us, you will get a payout. I will be honest with you up front. Regularly, it is not us. However, if it is us, it's an even larger payout because the odds will be in your favor. I will be radically dishonest. You can always win. It's true. You so, could always like, win. Turbo gamble everything five times. Night Owl says that uh, we're somewhere in the range of 4,570 to 4,580 uh, quotes. Now, that said, if it's eight, well, obviously it's the same, but flip it over. Now, that said, there's also a third option that is grog no like goob. Grub put goob in goob hole. And that will take whatever excess goob you have, and it will deposit it into... The prize pool. into the uh, the collective prize pool. So here presently, Cookie is going to go ahead and get that set up, and then you and, can and, make your bids, and we'll see where things go from there. Two and minutes. I am also I am also going to interrupt briefly, and this is to Cookie. Um, I understand what what you've been saying, and what you've been going have got going on, but Bulk is a member. Of the extended crew for Pandora Pirate Radio. Bulk is extended fan. Uh, even I so, pinched it on a... Uh... Right, but uh, we had one of those that came up, and uh, Bulk was uh, classified as ain't. And so... Uh, Bulk is, was also one of the original uh, co-hosts on this show. Now, as I was... The, the, uh, the poll is going to go up at any point now. Okay. You so. used too many words. I translate. <laughs> Attention audience. Soon poll start. Put in goob. Maybe win. Maybe not win. Big fun. Big fun. Surprise bulk the, visited. Five. Okay, Cookie says it's up. Now, as I was saying, Al Alpha Strike, uh, Commander's Edition book. It's a $40 book. I ordered it. It fucking vaporized, but they gave me a PDF with it. So, I got a new copy of it, printed with some uh, different art. And I'm very happy with it because uh, it has Eldonius art on the on the cover of it, and also it's well, it's from the Black Pants Publishing Corporation. Nice, gentlemen. There's we a cat the staring at me. We can rebuild him. There's a cat Applicate staring cat. at me. It's a cat. It's wow. Applicate, applicate hand cat, to cat. Cat, cat applicate. Wow. Placate your kittens. Someone, wait, 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 wait. Somebody redeem a pet so that Squick has to pet Frank. Frank is over in his napping box. Okay. Like, he decided that food was, again, a thing he would like to partake of last week. So now he's sleeping off his wanton excess. His wanton <laughs> excess a week ago. Because, you know, reptile things. Hashtag reptile things. Okay. To date, I have lost 950,000 goob on us raid. Let's Good see Lord. if we can make it a million. I feel like oh, pets I have been also redeemed. have a number that I've lost. I am petting okay. Kit. Okay, good. Mad Ducks is redeeming pet for us because Squick has decided that Frank isn't worth petting. Frank I is in the nap time box. He's napping. I'm not going to be like, ha -ha, Kit. wake up, scale noodle. Due to forces you cannot comprehend, you are being annoyed by hands. The internet has declared that you should be awoken. I mean, I'm going to, but not 
Not because the internet says to. Oh, okay. There you go. We remind us. rain is over. Us rain is over. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Thank you. Lovely wife has redeemed uh, pets for us on the Bergy cat, who is an idiot. All right. Let's see what we got. Quote. As we await quote, the verdict. Quote. 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 Oh, Frank later can do. Okay, quote, quote 2139. Oh. I can't even tell what's been or bean. what's bean and what's sausage, followed by merry laughter. Dr. Chef, food and drink. It be ain't. It be ain't. Oh. My no brokenness increases. Boobs allowed. Here we go, folks. Mad Ducks has lost a million goob on us. I one million goob. Million One million goob. Just this particular time, I may not have lost. <gasps> you <gasps> betrayed us. I did. You monster. How much goob did you win? Because now that goes against how much goob you have lost. It's true. Does it really? Have, does it yes. work that way? You, you have gained goob. Yes, it's. it all has to do with your net goob account. Okay, that means that I'm down to 910,000 goob lost. Well, then you made 800,000 I'm sorry, you made 80,000 goob? No, I was at 950, now I'm at 910. Oh, okay. you made 40,000 goob? Yeah. I I had 300,000, now I have 340,000. Lovely wife, I need you to figure out a way for me to reap the benefits of uh, compound interest on goob. In gubernation? Yes. Did it make you a goober? No. No. A no. goofy goober. Wow. Squick. Hello. Squick. Hello. I have a question for you. Understandable. Next oh, caller. Lovely wife said no. Okay. Well. <laughs> that's okay. I like her anyway. Squick, I want you to ask a chatbot a question. Oh, God. Okay, one moment. Firing up the artillery. Okay, the artillery is being fired up, everybody. I haven't actually decided what the question is yet, so... Um... Meanwhile... Back at the Hall of Justice. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice... We could use whales! They're huge! They are whales are in fact quite large. Yes, compared to things. Did you know what we're talking about that led to the chat? Toad team task tacklers. Did you know that a blue whale is so large that if you dropped it on a basketball field, on a basketball court, they'd have to cancel the game? It does. I mean, that depends on the game. Did you know? That in the small Appalachian town that I grew up in, that when they would have police officers at every football and basketball game, they had to get state troopers because to, uh, state troopers to uh, keep the peace because the city cops and the sheriff deputies were had too much skin in the game. Well, yeah, I grew up in a uh, small town. I can believe it. Yes, regular fights. Reg- I loved it. It was so great. That sounds like a highly functional municipal establishment. It was great. Filled with professionals. Yep. It's way more normal than you think. Normal doesn't mean good. Normal yeah, means and you know what, Squick? Occurrence. And you know what? Every one of them ate biscuits and gravy because it was good. That's right. Yeah, that certainly had... sounds like the benchmark I'd use. And they had it for breakfast. They went down to the Circle T. Because it was open 24 hours to serve the coal miners. And they had biscuit also, gravy at 3 in the morning. Yeah, Warlock's your uh, hot mic in there. He's not hot miking. He's exploring the depths in his scuba equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, he's, he's role-playing that's Subnautica. Question mark. He's role-playing Subnautica. Oh, but okay. So, what if the person who invented scuba also invented the harmonica, and they were the same device? I'm here for it. 
Hey, uh, Mad Ducks, you, you know something about harmonicas and novel uses, don't you? Um, question mark? Can we play a harmonica with a 20,000 PSI scuba tank? Yes. Once. Nice. <laughs> I have a I have a different question. Mad Ducks, can you play a harmonica with the exhaust system of a nineteen sixty three Chevy Impala? If you can find one of them that runs, yes. Oh, you're gonna set the bar pretty fucking high, aren't you? You you're the one that said it. Should set a Mustang. I'm not saying the Mustang would still be running. I'm saying that there's someone crazy enough out there to drop the money and time into making sure it runs, but it um, wouldn't be a 63. It'd be a 64 and a half at the oldest. Oh, like my uh, 1973 seven-cylinder Buick LeSabre. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like your, uh, your, yes, your 1993 seven Buick Roadmaster. Uh oh, Squick's warming up the chat bot, sounds like. Squick, I, yes, want I don't the... know what the question yet, but I'm priming the pump. Okay, I'm going to work on some questions. Um, I like don't know. The same no. way I worked on the Boy RD because we saw how that worked. Well, I mean, right now, right now I'm thinking about the Buick Roadmaster. <sighs> Wait a minute. What if we ask the chat bot what is one thing about Warhammer 40K that it knows? Hey, there we go. Hmm. We need to phrase it in such a way that uh, it knows what you know, and it needs to come up with a new fact for you. So I need you to uh, send Squick the link <coughs> so that Squick can tell the chatbot what you know so it can generate a new fact if, for you. If Squick sees how poorly formatted my note, my note card is... Um, no, that just adds to it. It's fine. It's fine. The chatbot will be even more confused. It doesn't have... Look, I just wanted to know what would happen if we go, what is one fact that you, as an AI, blah, 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 know about Warhammer 40k? That's all I wanted. Okay, Mo... There, the chance of it overlapping is almost non-existent. Okay, Mo, if you will send me the STL, that'll be enough. Because I can print it here. Um, and save us, and save us both the, uh, the, the shipping. Von Falkenstein has pinged me and asked, isn't it time for 40K facts? Mad Ducks knows. Well, we're working on that. We're, we're going to get an answer from the all-knowing uh, large language model. I am willing to do two things. One, what the AI does. And two, I do still want to ask chat. Okay, because... chat, uh, start brainstorming. Uh, Mad Ducks is going to quit looking at chat right now. I got to open up like the note card and everything. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. This is this is kind of the color pattern I was thinking for Langdon's Fusiliers. So, you know, kind of what if free world guard but black instead of white. I'm like Now we have to get some green. Get some oh, green. It, I didn't say this, but uh what? I got uh compliments uh for the voice work. Oh yes, you, excellent, excellent. The the voice work that you did for the game about not pushing yes. the butt. No, no, no. Which I know I didn't say a whole lot about, but I'm genuinely super jazzed for you. That is really cool. I um like I I am getting to work with y'all know I get excited when people are creating things. I like to see what people can create, and I, you know, I'm pretty jazzed about it. It's very jazzful. It is in fact full of the jazz. Like I get to help somebody create, and that is like my, my favorite thing. You no, know my favorite thing is the song that never ends. Frankly, Grits? I don't know either. I thought you all might have some clues. Grits. I'm gonna say "Lovely Wife." Lovely Wife is my favorite thing. That's that's a safe answer, isn't it? So hey, I can she switch said it first. I can switch <laughs> off of push to tuck when it is first. time to read my list whenever oh. you want. Okay. Just say when. Squick, tell me when you're ready. Moment. Or, Squick, would you like Mad Ducks to send you the list or do you just want to see what that comes up with? I, I'm, I'm having to refine... Uh, sorry, brain engaged problem. Think with okay. hand. In word, the meantime, no brain talk, Mad think. Ducks, what do you know 
about All right. the game Warhammer 40k by Popular Game Company. Switching off of push to talk to voice activation. <laughs> voice activation activated. Activated? Activated. Whatever. Activated. Relocating spider toaster. Immediate right. No more. Drinking paint water. Ah, it's the little things in life. All right, chat. This is the time, apparently, by by request, which is weird because that means y'all are as crazy as we are. Um, by request, I have started a list facts that I know about Warhammer 40k. This list has come almost exclusively from you. Only two items on this list did not come from you. One of those was admittedly an accident, and the other one is actually Warlax's fault. So, Warlax much is, can be much can be attributed to my fault. Warlax yes. is exploring the depths right now. So. so, fact number one that I know about Warhammer 40k: the warp is some sort of turbo hell. Turbo. Hell. Turbo hell. Turbo hell. Two. Psychers get their powers by channeling the warp somehow. And in parentheses behind that, I have, you can't tell me it's not a blood magic ripoff. Number three, Papa Nurgle is some sort of god of plague and may have a fried chicken restaurant? Question mark? I know. He might. might. Four, the emperor eats psychers for some reason. Not kink shaming, but it's pretty weird. Number five. Corpse starch exists and is used as a flour substitute. It's Soylent Bread. That one I have for Morlax because I made him a Sanguine Corvatus moving thing. Sanguine Corvatus moving company where Six. we move stuff and we can't guarantee where it goes. But it does get moved. And no one has heard it. I've played it. I mean, it's on the tan- it's on the YouTube channel. We'll work on that later. Number six. Space Marines are some sort of cybernetically and biologically enhanced big dudes that like shooting anyone that isn't loyal to the Emperor hard enough. It's true. Number seven. Tau are weebs, and I was told to underline it. What the fuck? I don't know what a Tau is, but I know that they're weebs. It is also accurate. Number eight. There is a warp god named Slanesh, and by worshipping them, you can never be satisfied. Innuendo was Im- implied heavily for some reason. There was a reason. I'm not Scrolling down. <clears throat> Number nine. The Void Dragon is an ang- angry dragon inside of Mars that makes people want to bone toasters for Excel sheets. Put there by Emperor Dude Guy. What are you doing to that cat? That is, that is Ebony. That is, that is Wife Cat. Wife Cat meow a lot. Don't wife kidding. cat meow through house. Wife cat meow when not food. Wife cat meow when am food. Wife cat meow when water. Wife cat meow when not water. What wife cat meow when she wants the sink day? dripping so she can drink out of it. Wife cat meow when she want meow. Wife cat, just loud cat. It's true. It is loud cat. Shout Moving out. along. Number 10. Krieg. <laughs> Sorry. Number 10, Krieg is a World War I Germany that feels bad that they weren't loyal to the Emperor hard enough. Number 11, there are dudes that are dust, but are also sealed into armor that moves and shoots. Correct, Rub- Rubric Marines. I think Psyduck was here for that one. Number 12, dwarves are real and one of the least effed up factions. Warhammer started in the 80s, and one of the early things from Rogue Trader was space dwarves. And they were included less and less and were just like eaten by aliens or something. But they're coming back, apparently. Number 13. There is an Egyptian metal skeleton who goes around the universe collecting historic artifacts in Pokeballs. Trazen has stolen more artifacts than the British, quote Psydoc. Which is really uh, no- quite impressive, if we're honest. Yeah, actually. Number 14. The Horus Heresy is the result of trust... And lack of family therapy. Number 15, orcs say wah. And according to Kai Harper, it comes from like deep in the diaphragm, and you have to just be extremely enthusiastic about whatever you're doing. It's true. And the final fact that I know, number 16, when orcs paint anything red, it goes faster. That's right. That came from this painting stream last week. So, chat, I can't see chat. I've closed chat. I've got the my note card over it. All I can see is a portion of what Parallax is streaming, uh, painting. 
I can see the head of a mech. So I'm assuming, hoping, I have no idea what's going on in chat. You could all be typing beep boop. None of my business. But if y'all will be kind enough to offer up one Warhammer 40k factoid. You know, someday you're going to say something like that. And the fact you're going to get is beep boop. No idea. Not my fault. Anyway, I'm looking for fact number 17. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, okay, Warlax, you have to pick the, the fact this week. I've already picked it then. Yeah. Oh, but no. <laughs> look at what chat you gotta, has you gotta to read say the chat. Decide. Yeah, like chat, you know, gets to contribute. We're here for them. And for some reason, they're here watching us. <clears throat> say right, it. Well, here, I, I, I will just. Uh, I, I will go ahead and uh, do this because it will mean nothing to you as of yet. But also, chat might understand. Creed. There I, I don't. I don't even know what to type. What, what okay. do I type? Don't type anything right now. That one was. That one was okay. mostly for chat. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yes, I that, that one gives you nothing, but gives chat everything. Okay, I will. Um, I will continue touching up paint on Spider Toaster with one eye open, gripping my arms wide open. With one eye open, gripping my paintbrush tight. With one eye open. So I was driving to work this week, (laughs) and I had the local classic rock station. And local classic rock station decided that music that was a thing when I was in high school is now classic rock and I'm offended. I mean, it's worse um, for Halzikar because it was music from when he was in college. So because they were playing three doors down on the classic rock station and I sent the photo of the radio saying what the song was and what the station was. And apparently uh, he, he needed to sit down in his recliner for a bit and take some ibuprofen. Dude. The, the thing is, is that the, the classic rock stations around me have been doing that for the years. Yeah, it's that doesn't make us feel better. I was going into large name hardware store and I needed safety glasses and earplugs for a job. So hard for Frank. the crew. No, um, an actual hardware store. Um, Harbor Freight is fine for consumables. Ooh, I will underline this... consumables. Uh, right. d- disagree for later. Okay. No, I, I have seen no input since I said Creed. W- w- what have we got? A- anyway, on, chat. I was walking through and automatic came on. You know, totally automatic. And I, it came on as I walked in. I know my way around this particular hardware store blindfolded, which comes in handy as it turns out. So and, nice. um, uh, no. Uh, There's an ace that hasn't changed its layout since 1993. I went in as the, mu- as the music started, grabbed safety glasses and earplugs, hit the self-checkout, and when it came time to leave, I thought, oh, I'm going to miss the rest of the song. And then it hit me. Oh. If you're enjoying the music they're playing at the hardware store, you are their target audience, which means you're getting old. It's accurate. I remember when I was in grad school and I would walk into the grocery store and this happened more than once. And I'm still confused about it because I've never had it happen anywhere else other than the Kroger in Athens, Ohio. God damn it. I, I love my fact, but that fact, the, the fact that it is put that way and is truly there. Yes. I, mm. We have to be objective, Warlocks. It's true. I know. I know. No, this is a good fact. This is one that I would use normally. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to do this one, and I'm going to have to hold the other one. Okay, quickly. I really would, I really would like to do, um, you know, uh, one fact that chat gives and one fact that Warlocks gives, but hey. Okay, quickly, okay. to finish, I walked into a Kroger in Athens, Ohio. This happened more than once. To hear them play in its entirety, Gordon Lightfoot's The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And I'm confused about it. You were there a while. You know, it started when I walked in. You were still there a while. (laughs) It's a weird song to be playing in the grocery store in a college town. It is still one heck of a song. Gordon Lightfoot was was a gentleman and a sir. 
Anyway, Warlocks, make your decision. All right, are you prepared, sir? Uh, my notepad has the little blinky cursor type here thing going on. Nobody quote that. There is an entire army. This army is made of nuns that carry guns. Is an army? And the army exists because of a spoken loophole. Uh, there is an army. This army is made up of nuns with guns. This army exists because of a spoken because loophole. of a spoken loophole. Now there was another one that I saw in chat so, about someone, someone got legalized and they got legalized fucking hard. That's true. Somebody else had one in there about the mechanicus that they need to remember for next week because that one was also great. I, I almost wish sometimes I wish I could take more than one fact, but I mean, like if this you is wanted the... to, we could. But this is the the condition we started at the beginning of all of this. If we, we let it take over, it's just going to take over, and this will turn into. It will no longer into... be a quick gag. Right. It, it can't. It can't be a recurring gag if we if we. And it no kink shaming, but quick gags are. Giggity. Giggity. Okay. Giggity. Giggity. Now, Warlax, I'll do a Warlax fact. It's like a half fact. It's a half fact. Ducks. It, 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 it's a meme fact. It's not a full fact. I mean, I can do fact number 17.5. Okay. 17.5. Yes. 17.5. There is an army commander capable of hiding um, city block sized tanks behind orange safety fencing. And you cannot see it. No, well, now I'm just confused. Maybe a little impressed. That's that's Bugs, bon Bugs Bunny and Warhammer. You can't convince me otherwise. Uh, yes, indeed it is. There's a good chance you're not wrong. Okay, saving this, closing this, not looking at chat yet, so not, that I don't yet. risk spoiling our gimmick yes. gag. <sighs> now, whoever came up with the Mechanicus fact, the way that you phrase that, like, that is a Mad Duck seeking missile. I need you to know that. Like, that was perfectly phrased. Or Mad Ducks. So save it and give it to us next week. I wonder, uh, like, now I'm curious. Like, I, I, no, I, no, no. I won't we, look. We I can't rules. look. Whoever it was and whatever it said, I'm going to assume it's somebody in chat. That's all I've got to go off of. Now, Please. I'm looking at my chat window. The facts are off the page. I'm okay. I will hit the little right arrow thing. The right arrow. And Twitch now. will pee a little. It's broken now. Twitch will be it's a bitch. Now. A bitch Twitch. Twitch is, Twitch is broken. We go to Squick. Live at the, the chatbot. Chat yeah, so you wanted a, a Warhammer fact from the chatbot, so let's go. <laughs> I've, I've already closed that, the note card, but I, I'm is, not going to remember it anyway. Just, just let's see what we get. That is a worrying tone out of Squick. Ahoy, dim-witted comrade of the bewilderingly mundane. Gather round as Grud Fistbump, the purveyor of preposterous ponderings, unveils a gem of galactic garbage about Warhammer 40,000. Brace yourselves for a tidbit that'll make your brain cells commit rich bull seppuku. Did you know that in the grim darkness of the far future, the mighty space marines actually moonlight as intergalactic hairdressers? And indeed, they harness the power of the warp to style their luscious locks, creating follicular masterpieces that can withstand the fury of a thousand warp storms. The Emperor's Golden Main Regiment is renowned across the cosmos for their impeccable coifs, striking fear into the hearts of enemies and envious hairstylists alike. But hold your horse as you feeble-minded inquisitor before you start donning your tinfoil hat. Remember, this is an actual as a warp travel brochure. Now go forth, enlightened by the cosmic absurdity, and spread the nonsensical wisdom of Grud Fistbump's interstellar salon secrets. So a couple things. <laughs> Grud Fistbump, yes. Um... I certainly wasn't expecting it. I'm, I'm, I would, I would play a uh, a Greg fist bump. Now, nobody I would play that character to his death. Listen, nobody, <laughs> Every... 
nobody expects the Grug Fist Bump Inquisition. <laughs> I, I feel like every person in this voice chat right now knows for a fact that I will absolutely play a meme character until their untimely demise full sin without a hiccup. <laughs> I would play Grud Fist Bump. Diggs, that's amazing. Oh god, what? Is posted a uh, a suggested image. What the f- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm going to say this real quick, because this is a thing that Halzikar and I were laughing at earlier this week, and I'm going to inflict it on you now. Because um, it was an Instagram reel I came across, and he and I have uh, just kind of run with it throughout the course of the week. So, imagine that you are playing any given D&D campaign, and you are deep in the enchanted woods, and you run into some kind of PC playable race. Who do you think you're going to run into? Grud fist pump? No, no, no. As far as a race goes, who's likely to be deep in the woods doing deep in the woods stuff? I don't want to say elves because that's for elves. Yeah. We're going to go with elves. We're going to go with elves here. Oh, I'm going to disagree. That's fine. So like you're you're not gonna see elves in the forest unless they fucked up real bad. You're gonna see the dwarf having like a full on drunken brawl with a tree. So elves. But if this were the real world, or if this were Shadowrun, and you were oh, no. deep, deep, deep in the mountains and you ran into somebody, what would you expect them to sound like? Not not fucking that. Yeah, so I want you to stop and think about this for a minute. What the hell was the chat bust, butt ghost problem solution? Sorry, go ahead. The past Hill is haunting me. Hillbilly elves. You're not wrong. Hillbilly oh, you... Tolkien elves. Well, you done... Dang, man, we done <laughs> gone up in that mountain. There's a dang old necromancer up there in that dang old fortress, man. He's been up there. Uh, uh, my yes. my grandpappy built that dang old fortress, man. Uh, uh, man that necromancer Dale up there. Gribble, <laughs> elven sniper. That dang old uh, uh, necromancer up there, man. He he done raised up all them skeletons, man. It's like I, I saw a feller in there. It's like, man, I, I don't remember my grandpappy. He was like, he killed that feller when he was in here logging, man. It was, uh, all kind of crazy shit, man. I'm going to tell you what. You tell I painted... me what, Dale Gribble. You tell me what. Now, here's the thing. That guy has a name. Do you know what that guy's name is? Boomhauer. That, no, that guy is <laughs> definitely, definitely named uh, Popcorn Kellebrimbor. Okie dokie. I painted the toaster's nose. I booped the snoot. What? I painted the toaster's nose. Oh, okay, yes. Elven Moonshine. That's right. Elven Moonshine. Wait, I need you on, to hold think... On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Elven Moonshine just reminds me that there is that uh, whole Moonshiners thing uh, on uh, Discovery Channel that people think is like, yes. oh, but if they get caught, they'll go to jail. No, no, they won't, because this is... Mm, this is clearly not real. Channel... Yeah, you think Discovery Channel's gonna let a bunch of... <laughs> fuckers who don't pay their taxes send them to jail no now that said when the history channel did this you know 15 years ago they did an entire special on moonshiners one of those dudes was named popcorn sutton popcorn sutton was a real dude that went to prison a couple of times for run and shine and then committed suicide like 10 years ago because he was going to get caught again, and he was like 75. So, it like sometimes you do run into this stuff on these bonkers-ass channels. But, that's why Popcorn Killer Brew Board. Sticking with Popcorn Killer Brew Board. Popcorn Killer Brew Board. Of the 13th house of his name. Now, Pretzel so, Bomber, that is very, very upper class, like Southern plantation owner. Where I read that and I say, Your continued presence on my stoop is a mock against your competence. Live long and fucking prosper, sir. 
You have requested my presence. You see, if it were correct. Like it. <laughs> Lovely wife is correct. Uh, that was the, uh, that uh, Crawdad was the name of a judge in the county where my father grew up. So Crawdad Celebrimbor. I'll take it. Crawdad wow. Celebrimbor. So I've got the chatbot primed. What other fantasy universes are we about to ask about? Um, Hillbilly Elves. Mm. G give me a Lord of the Rings fact. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can, can we just a moment here? I need to drop this into the thing. Uh because Can we uh, okay. because digs happen. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Diggs, that's God. good. It's dang, man. It's dang old like neck <laughs> up in there, man. Been, been under all, all kinds of stuff, man. But why does it look like Bobby? <laughs> Dang, man, just don't got all kind of stuff up in there, man. That's no, no, that's on, all on, of the on. King of the Hills characters put together. I, I, I'm sorry that 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 for some reason is just god dang all <laughs> up in there. G Ganon's beating up on this shit again. I got go. dang man, it's all up in here. Getting that dang old Triforce, man. We'll yes, tell you what, Link Hour. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, so. I love are that you, it's like a button-up shirt with a collar and then armor <laughs> over it. It's very classic. That's amazing. Dang old ring race, man. Ended up in here always coming into my shower, getting my old uh, pipe weed, man. We'll tell you what. <laughs> Go quick. Fly, uh, you fool. Just, one moment. I have to QC this and make sure it's not going to, like, war crime our voice talking into orbit. Again. Not my fault. Yeah, see, sometimes it, it errs on the wrong side, and instead of funny, it's just, that's kind of fucked up. Well, <laughs> what... If Sauron had built the Technodrome? <laughs> dang old Sauron, man. You up there in a dang old Technodrome, man. You just put that thing on up there. Okay, we have a winner. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I wasn't concerned before, but I am now. Oh, you should be. This is destroying my throat, but I'm not stopping. Uh, no one quote that. Grimos. Sir, you up. knew what you were saying when you said that. I rarely do. I, I get to experience this at the same speed as everyone else. Have you ever I mean, considered he's... lowering your clock speed? He's Why? that's and that's not possible. Listen, I, I'm I am in agreement with Squake. I write out scripts and I don't know what I write, and then I read them and I don't know what I said. Like oh, I write them, tracks. and most of the time I refuse to read them. Like most of the, to, yeah, I'm I'm with Squick on this one. I don't know what I write, and then I don't know what I what I said. Squick, Jetty says you really have to relax your throat when you're doing this kind of thing, and also cup the balls. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hi, you pitiful hobbit of ignorance. Behold, as Grud Fistbump, the wacky wizard of warped wisdom, spills the beans on a Lord of the Rings revelation that'll make Sauron's eye twitch with disbelief. In the mythical land of Middle-earth, the true purpose of Gandalf's Gandalf. Yeah, wizard fuck. Gandalf's staff is not to cast spells or to guide lost travelers, but to double as a high-powered espresso machine. Yeah, you heard it right, my befuddled friend. Gandalf the barista in his spare time between saving the world and dealing with hobbit shenanigans whips up lattes and cappuccinos with a flick of his magical wrist. One sip of his Mordor mocha, and you'll be questioning the very fabric of reality. But heart, do not mistake this morsel of misinformation for truth, for it is but a frothy blend of fantasy and foolish now go forth, you gullible gnome, armed with the caffeinated confusion of Middle Earth's magical Java Junction. So let me make Ow. sure I understand. Why, why, why is it? Why is it that this has just made me want to play a caffeination wizard? Well, I mean, you're playing an alchemist at this point. Okay, so so let me make sure that I understand what's going on here. No, no. Tell me yeah. where is Gandalf? For I much desire a cappuccino for me. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking Meth Wizard, but that's... I think that might be a different patch that you get from the Auxiliary. <laughs> I mean, Darks, Space why Station is it on 13. chain mail? Huh? Because that's what I had. 
Understandable. It is a nice texture. I mean, I had it, and I put the thing on it, and then I photoed it on the thing. It, yes. Uh, that's what I put it on. That's Very that's good. What Mad Ducks, I was thinking about this the other day. Oh, no. Not my fault. Uh, actually, it's my fault, but I have to ask you, because Excellent. it was... It was my fault for something that I sent to you. Did you ever read that Scott's edition of Harry Potter I sent you? Yes, I'm trying to. I was trying to find the book earlier so I could read it on stream. Um, although I may have annihilated my throat uh, recording all week. Uh, mm, do not press. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for joining us. I've got nothing. I've used all of my brain meat energy goop. I'm out of brain cells. That's because you're an heckle pack. Aye. Aye. You're a warlock, Harry. Uh, Harry, you're a warlock, Harry. For those of you uh, that don't remember this, I found the Scots language edition of Harry Potter and the uh, the Sorcerer's Stone and sent it to Mad Ducks because he, he grew up with his very Scottish grandfather. And uh, I, I thought it would bring him all the warm fuzzies. It, it actually, it still gives me much amusement. Again, I was trying to find it right before stream. Uh, it's in the table. It's in and, the, um, hashtag the table. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I've told the, the, the background on stream, but it was uh, the fact that anyone can understand me speaking is probably not short of a miracle. Because you're a heckle peck. Uh, well, no. See, I grew up with uh, Bubba J and Earl and all them, and I had three Garys in my uh, in my graduating this, class. This is my brother Gary and my other brother. This is my brother Gary. That's my friend Gary. That his da Gary's dad dad. His name was Gary, and other Gary. Believe it or not, his dad was also a Gary, and uh, and they crazy. talked. They talked about like this, and uh, every Sunday it was fried chicken and uh, and, and you know like peas and such. It was great. I mean, this all sounds pretty good to me. Hey, hey, ducks. Hey, uh, dang old ducks. Man. Uh, one moment. Uh, I sent you a thing. Dang old sent you a thing, man. Get all up in there, see what Gary done sent you. Gary. Gary. Ha <laughs> ha, Gary. Gary. What the Gary. fuck is going on in here? Oh, yeah. Gary. <laughs> Gary. So, ah, yes, I see. Squick um, knows all about he's, the Gary's. He was pale, and now he's less pale. Yes. I'm asking the robot about it. About Gary? Yeah. Okay. Gary. 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 How many Garys are there? Ha <laughs> ha, Gary. Chat, how many Garys are there? <laughs> Dangly parts. What the fuck? Digi yes. Digiman <laughs> says that... Cookies what? And doubles. Oh, um, by the way, Did so uh... Yes. If you wish to show um, that large cloud, uh, I have done work on him and sent you a photo now. Okay, give me. Uh, we are I'm closing also, in on the end of the stream, aren't we? I'm also kind of proud of uh, the, the spider toaster. Well, you need uh, to send me a picture done, of that too. It's in the hauler, and so. uh, I like I did what I could with with very limited depth perception. I'm actually pretty. I'm still. Uh, I've been accused of spilling coffee grounds because of no depth perception, but. Oh, no. Uh, Gary Clone. Uh, Digiman, of course, coming through with the magic cards. Gary Clone, creature, human citizen. Oh, there's a Gary Clone. Okay, that's a different question. When Gary, whenever Gary Clone attacks each creature you control, named Gary Clone gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. I really hope there's flavor tips. Okay, I'm I'm gonna pull up all the stuff that has been sent to me so far. Um, that's probably not smart. Well, no, it's really not. But then again, here we are. Welcome to the numeric workshop. Why um, are you here? Uh, guys, why are I've, you here? I've learned interesting things about Gary and the Gary clone. Tell me. Oh, no. But apparently Grud thinks we're still talking about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> this is even better. 
By the way, this week in Alabama, there was somebody stole some person or group of people persons stole a two hundred foot tall radio tower. Yeah, I was reading about that. What the fuck? I mean, I'm that's impressed. yeah, and they gutted the the inside of the building and some of the warehouse nearby. I mean, like they went yeah full ham. full tilt. Yeah. All right, here we go. A whore, ye seeker of the absurd. Grud has a different voice now because I've already blown out my throat. Do you Prepare want to send me the text and I'll read it? For a tale. God, I want to go through this one, then we can hand off. Because now they're a pirate, apparently. Yeah. Prepare thyself for a tale so twisted it'll make Gollum's inner monologue seem like a bedtime story for toddlers. In the mil in the mythical realm in of the milf Gary land. <laughs> in the Milflands <laughs> In the Navy In the mythical realm of Gary Topia, there once dwelled a lad named Gary. Oh Gary, the pinnacle of mediocrity, with a face only a mother could love and a personality that made cardboard boxes seem thrilling. But lo and behold, Gary stumbled upon a cosmic conundrum, the Gary clone. You see, Gary, in a fit of cosmic curiosity, or perhaps sheer boredom, decided to dabble in the dark arts of duplication. With a zap and a crackle, he created a carbon copy of himself, a mirror image of mundanity that roamed the land like a lost sock in a washing machine. Now here's where it gets hairy, my befuddled buddy. Hairy here. The Gary clone wasn't just a copy. Oh no, he was Gary's antithesis, his polar opposite in every conceivable way. While Gary was as thrilling as watching paint dry, the Gary clone was a whirlwind of wackiness, a tornado of tomfoolery that left chaos in his wake. Together, they embarked on misadventures that would make Frodo and Sam's journey to Mount Doom look like they took a leisurely stroll through the Shire. From battling existential crises to pondering the meaning of life and failing spectacularly, Gary and the Gary clone were the dynamic duo of dullness, the laurel and hardy of lethargy. That's a pretty like, good turn phrase. I like that. This guy's throwing a lot of shade. Yep. I don't think he likes Gary. I I think you're right. Like I, it's just a hunch I have. Yeah, that's that's an angry dude. Very no. anti Gary. I like how you have tiny little uh, uh, bits that are sticking out of his feet that I assume are supposed to go into the holes of the base. I do not know if they are the hole. Uh, <laughs> The uh, crack holes? I do not know if they are the whole mounts that are supposed to be there or not. Mo said yes. <laughs> I like how Para is slowly mo losing more and more screen real estate. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm watching him scoot the mech around, like prop it up and everything. He needs something for the bottom right corner. Um, somebody send him something else. No, damn it. Uh, hey, um, by the way, I do oh. have a question. What? Why? Why ducks? Did I not get a toaster? Yeah, I I already answered that. My my printer was broken at the time. Right. There's another print. There's another picture in the uh, holler, <laughs> parallax. Um. So the only reason I ask is because you've given everyone else toasters. And my oh, I did say my my printer was broken, yes, and I repaired my broken my printer, and then turned around and broke it the next day. I had just forgotten. That is yeah. Mistake. Also, if you if you want to do a brand on mine just for shits and giggles, make it Greg's. I don't know how to do those things. I had to ask for help from someone, someone smarter than myself. Well, you have fast and all. <laughs> yeah, I had to ask for a lot of help for this one. <laughs> Let, let's just say that I know the local fast and all person. And uh, chat, this is how this is evidence and admission that I at least knew of a plot, but I had less involvement than Parallax thinks I did. Yes, and you also have less of a picture than. 
in his corner. It's getting very crappy. That's fine. This <laughs> uranium burger. <laughs> oh my god, he's in uranium jail. Oh no. <laughs> well, folks, um, it's about five till. Uh, I can feel things slowing down a bit, so I think we're probably going to start wrapping up here soon. Oh Lord! Does anybody want to say anything before we end tonight? Oh, I, I just want to so see so many possum wizards at Waffle House. Oh my God! What? <laughs> uh, send me that text. Uh... <laughs> uh... Dang old possum so, wizard, um, man! I, I, you I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say thank you all very much for joining us this evening. You have a choice in your entertainment, and yet somehow you keep choosing us. I don't understand it, but I thank you. Why are you here? Why wouldn't they be? This place is great. I'm a rip-ass on the way out. No one <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Luckily, we are a good distance Crop. from you. Um, <laughs> good luck with that. I have a Crop microphone. The, oh, shit. testing the Twitch chat. <laughs> Get that Space Station 13 fart on. So the question is... Um, since we can transmit sound through the ether here using technology and sound is just mechanical vibrations and mechanical vibrations can cause elements to become other elements through physics. I knew you were going to go with sound vision. that will allow you to actually like rip ass through the machine spirit uh, such that you can just like power I knew, internet. I knew you were going to go smidgen. in the audience. He went smidgen. I knew it. <laughs> oh, you just got me. quoted there. Oh, oh no. Uh giving them the old brown screen. No. So so uh very quickly, uh I've been led to understand and I've seen some photos of the progress. Our good friend here, Voxaforge, is currently working on a stalker after I badgered him for like six months about it. Uh but unfortunately, Voxel has this thing that they call the flu. So everybody, tell him to feel better, damn it. Feel better, damn it. Thank you. Also, I, I, I'm about to badger you for something because I, I feel that it would be quite fun. That's okay, I can't read. All right, fair enough. Hellcat. How can you read if eyes aren't real? There's a good Hellcat out there already. Oh, I know that there is. You can make it better. Uh, I'm not. Wait, like in I a mean, car? Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, Sir Mortimer Bombido did a really good Hellcat. A Hellcat that is different than the Hellcat that I sent you. Oh, I forgot about Long Furby. Shit. I, um... I'm just looking at the building there and thinking Grug's Bank of Finance. <laughs> or... uh, one moment, I must sir, see that what Grug's Bank of Finance looks like. Sir, this is this is clearly the corporate offices of Slobbies. Uh, no, no, uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> no, okay, sir, I've, I've this is a Wendy's. the plagiarism machine, nothing but Grug's Bank of Finance. I'm taking bets on what comes out. But it's taken way longer than normal. It is the big mat. I mean, it, it still <laughs> looks like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't pick a favorite. These are all for somehow the same image, but... Uh, uh, Mo has identified my buildings as Warforge Foundry models. Uh, and Voxel has identified the ruined building as a Wendy's the after Wendy's he after has ripped ass see. within it. <laughs> uh, uh, see, so I this one, there was a gas the leak Bell after I used the bathroom, but hey, there okay, was a gas I'm, leak. I'm putting this in the um, the terror place, the terror where you place, can eyeball it with your face. You know, the terror ass. Grug's Bank of fi uh, Finance. Yeah, the, fair enough. Grug's Bank of Finance. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Grug Bank Finance. This, mm. I mean, other options include... Grug hate variable rate. <laughs> Grug no like... Straight finance only. Grug no like mortgage. I feel like either these uh, are four um, competing um, institutions <laughs> in the same city, or hey. it's... One Grug that franchised. I, um, I, I do have a question for you, Para, about okay. this. And it's a great way to sign off. So, with all of this talk about finance and everything else, 
does Grug have a structured settlement and he needs <laughs> cash now? Call JG Grugworth 877 Cash Grug! 877 Cash Grug! Grug <laughs> Smash Finance Law. Grug Smash High uh, Debt Rates. Grug Smash Finance You to one lump <laughs> sum of cash he will pay to. 877 Grug you now! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies Grimos, and gentlemen, actually, very quickly, uh, Grimos has a eight seven seven cash grog. Oh. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, of all the broadcasts that you've watched, this is officially one of them. Ha ha! We are indelibly stained upon the history of your existence on this hideous meat planet. I'm going to be honest you with it, you. If you can't the, unwatch it. If there's not a series of clips from this episode tonight, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Because <laughs> there's got, at least one. I mean, you've got Squick ripping ass. You've got Grug's <laughs> Bank of Finance. You've got dang it's old El, a dang old elves man. It's a dang old Sauron up there, and a dang old necromancer man. You got all kinds of stuff tonight. So like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. You you've got the fucking flesh burger back here. Um, <laughs> I not forgot my about the flesh burger. <laughs> I was thinking about Grug. Grug didn't forget about the flesh burger. Yeah, Grug didn't I forget know. about leg day. Did either. I succeed? Did I successfully not say anything weird all stream? Why yes. the fuck isn't Grug wearing pants? <laughs> no more questions, folks. On <laughs> on, on that, um, uh, Grug and stream. <laughs> Have a good night, folks. Wait, Why can we give here? the orcs Thanks like four thousand pound grenades? We are unspeakably dumb. <laughs>